assalamu alaikum guys welcome back okay so now in this video we are gonna talk about empirical formula calculation and molecular formula calculation remember in the previous video I told you all the formulas of moles and the definition of moles and I told you that empirical formula and molecular formula are also included in that chapter the calculation basically and apart from this percentage yield and percentage purity are also included so percentage yield and percentage purity will be done most probably in the next lecture and in this lecture we are doing empirical formula and molecular formula calculation so empirical formula first of all this is lecture 12 by the way now empirical formula how do we calculate the empirical formula what is empirical formula by definition first so first of all i gave you the definition of empirical formula way before in the previous lectures that empirical formula by definition is the simplest formula representing the simplest whole number ratio between uh, adjacent uh, in between the different carbon atoms which are present in the molecule of that particular compound right so now over here this empirical formula is the simplest formula basically now um, the three steps that you follow that you have been following in O levels as well and now here as well this is a, just a revision of that O level stuff now how do you calculate the empirical formula so there are basically three simple steps first one is calculating the mole ratio the second one is calculating the simplest ratio and then finally getting your empirical formula okay the three steps now for example this is an example question over here in which I have been given three atoms I have been told in the question that there are three atoms a carbon hydrogen and oxygen present in a compound and these are the different percentage compositions of carbon hydrogen and oxygen present in that compound that is 40 percent of that compounds molecular formula or empirical formula is made up of carbon 6.67 percent is made up of hydrogen and 53.3 percent is made up of oxygen atoms and I need to calculate the empirical formula so now the very first thing to do is to calculate the mole ratio how do we calculate moles remember in the previous video I told you that moles are calculated using the formula given mass in grams divided by the molar mass over here we don't have the mass but rather we have the percentages given you can directly only in case of empirical formula calculation you can directly use these percentages and divide them by the molar masses to get the mole ratios okay because it's a ratio right so even if you convert the percentages into grams and then do it or do it this way will give you the same ratio okay so that's why i'm doing it directly and you are also uh, advised to do it directly okay so the 40 percent assume it to be the 40 grams divided by 12 okay because 12 is the relative atomic mass of carbon then 6.67 percent of hydrogen is there right so divided by 1 because that's for hydrogen and then for oxygen divided by 16 okay the percentage composition and these are the answers i got 3.33 6.67 6, and 3.33 mole ratio is given over here okay for carbon is to hydrogen is to oxygen now this mole ratio needs to be converted into a slim, simplest ratio right so for the simplest ratio what you do is you actually take the smallest number in this case it's 3.33 right 3.33 is the smallest in all of these now and you divide each of these numbers by that smallest number so 3.33 will get divided by 3.33 6.67 will get divided by 3.33 and 3.33 will also get divided by 3.33 and as a result when you solve it using your calculator or you just solve it um, mentally you'll get a ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 okay this is the simplest ratio you get and that's it that's all you need because what is empirical formula it's just showing us a different ratios of different atoms present in the formula of that particular compound so this formula we've got the three different types of atoms carbon hydrogen oxygen the ratio of carbon is one so one carbon atom ratio of hydrogen is two so two hydrogen atoms ratio of oxygen is one so one oxygen atom and this is our empirical formula for this particular compound now this was the calculation of empirical formula and usually it's for three marks okay the entire calculation it is very rarely asked but it is asked in the past papers as well and has been heavily asked in the in your o levels as well okay then after the empirical formula 
comes the second question of the examiner, the second very frequent question, how to calculate the molecular formula of this particular compound given the molecular mass. The examiner will give you the molecular mass, okay, relative uh, molecular mass basically, the molar mass, which in this case is 180 and will ask you to calculate the molecular formula for this compound. So this is how you calculate the molecular formula. This empirical formula is going to get bracketed by an, an integer n. Okay, this integer n what it implies is that when you multiply this value of n by each of these atoms at the base of the empirical formula inside, you will get your molecular formula as simple as that. Now let me calculate the value of n first and then I will explain how we get the molecular formula. Okay, we have been given the relative molecular, uh, the relative molecular mass or the, the molar mass, right? Now this is given. This empirical formula can be used to calculate the empirical formula mass. Okay, this EFM stands for empirical formula mass. So, 12 atomic mass of carbon plus 2 atomic mass of hydrogen, 2 hydrogen atoms, so that's why 2 and plus 16 because 1 oxygen atoms and we get an answer of 30. Now, this 30 can be used to calculate the value of N because N can be calculated using this ratio, molecular formula mass divided by empirical formula mass and this is something you guys need to learn and remember and as you do that the 180 will get divided by 30 and you get a value of n which is an integer and most probably you will get an integer as okay and now this is a 6 this 6 will get multiplied by each of these atoms inside okay they are basically the atoms of carbon in here are 1 right 1 carbon atom is over here two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atoms at the base, basically the atoms written at the base, okay. Now it add, add, as the subscript, so now this 6 when gets multiplied by the carbon it will give you C6, this 6 when multiplied by the two hydrogens, so it will give you a 12 and this 6 when gets multiplied by the uh, oxygen will give you 6, so C6, H12O6, you guys know what this formula is, this is the formula for glucose okay if you have biology you must know this formula this is a molecular formula for glucose and this is how you convert your empirical formula into molecular formula using molecular formula mass in the next video we'll be doing talking about percentage yield and percentage purity and that's it thank you so much